If you guys have been around the channel recently, you know on my road to Polyatomic here, I've been looking for some camos that are just as good, if not better, than these mastery camos in the game. And I think I found two more that are pretty easy to get, so let me show you. The first one we're going to be looking at getting today is Rainbow Tiger. I really, really love this pattern. Obviously, this is like the Tiger camo that we've seen before in previous games, but it's got a lot more color and a lot more vibrance, and I think it looks really nice. On top of that, we just need to get 30 kills while crouched using the MX-9, and that is just super easy. And for our other camo, I'm going to be trying to unlock the 20. 87. I think the colors on this camo are great. It's a lot of like almost 90s feeling to me, but it does have quite a few scratches on it, which aren't my favorite, but I think some other weapons don't get as many scratches on the camos or at least the, these certain camo patterns. So it might look better on some different weapons and I want to add it to my camo arsenal. And to do that, we're going to need to get 10 double kills here with the Fennec 45. So it's not the easiest challenge in the world, but I think the Fennec's a pretty good gun. So I'm going to have fun doing it. And just in case you're curious, here's my build for the MX-9. Uh, I'm not that great at building weapons. I mainly just prioritize ADS speed and make sure I can still do some damage. Uh, I have started using tuning a little bit. Again, don't know too much about it, but I'll show you guys just in case you're curious. Maybe you guys can give me some tips down in the comments, but that is my tuning for my rear grip, comb, and barrel. And this is the class for my Fennec. Uh, really quick, I'll show you my tuning here on my under barrel. Here is my barrel tuning, and here is my rear grip tuning. And this is the class I'm gonna be running for both weapons. So let's go ahead, hop in, and try to get these camos done. All right, here we are, our first game on Crown Royale. Uh, we joined a game in progress, which isn't the best, but we should be able to get some decent progress here. We're just gonna need to get some crouching kills with our MX-9. And I'm pretty sure this is like the SMG version of the AUG, and the AUG was a really great AR, and so far this SMG has been great for me as well. Except for right there. Who's using noob tubes on the M16? Is that the only... Wait a minute. Did he just crack the code? Does noob tube kills with the M16 count as kills with the M16? Because the time to kill on the noob tube is significantly faster than whatever trash the M16 is putting out. That might just be the biggest brain play I've ever seen. That might be something I, I, I need to try out or some of you guys can try out. Because I already have my ARs gold and platinum. I don't know if that's going to track for progress, but if it does... That is huge for the M16. All right, that, that really threw me off. I was not expecting to have like a camo breakthrough during this game, but I, I need to work on getting these crouching kills. I'm running around too much. Let's do a little dead silence so we can crouch a little faster and we're dead. There we go. Now we're getting some progress. Ooh. Oh no, out of ammo. I'm kind of struggling with this camo right now. Crouching kills aren't hard to do, but the amount of time I have to run to find somebody on this map and then crouch to kill them just to get one shot is kind of crazy. Like, this map is all right. I don't think it's too terrible, but it's definitely not my favorite. I like the design of it in terms of looks, but this is definitely way too big for a 6v6. And our first game is over. We had a, a whopping nine kills with probably like three or four of those being crouching. Now let's see where we're at with that camo. When I started, I had one crouching kill and we're at seven. Hey, that's better than I thought. Still got a lot to go though. Please give me a small map. All right, we got the fortress. This is like an in-between map for me. It's not border crossing map awful, but it's not farm 18 good. Honestly, for the challenge I'm doing, me making everything like so much like sprint to fire and ADS speed probably wasn't the best bet. But we're going we're gonna to make it work. I'm actually just like crab walking around the map to make sure that I don't like get caught sprinting. And it's working. No way. It's so funny when like the stupid methods work. Okay, except for right there. These people got to be so confused on what I'm doing. Just seeing me crouch around this entire map. But if it works, it works. Maybe I can just sit right here. Is camping allowed? I always feel weird when I camp and it's not for like a long shot or mounting challenge where you literally like can't move. This is such an asinine way to play. I sound like I'm I'm Hank Hill with the, the terminology, but it's true. I don't think there's ever been like a cooler looking camo that has like such a lame challenge in comparison. Like I know somebody's probably gonna say like mounted kills, but what do you get for that? Like some sort of weird spray looking camo? Like the actual camo you unlock for doing those mounted kills, isn't that cool? Maybe for like the shotgun one, like the lock with 300 getting the mounted kills with the, the like the 725. But that one wasn't too bad. It just took like maybe like a game and a half. This one, this is stupid. But this is coming from a guy that just loves to complain about everything camo challenge just because I enjoy complaining. I can, I enjoy complaining about the camos as much as I enjoy grinding them. So take everything I say with like a grain of salt. I think I've died probably about like 35 times this game. I would not be surprised to see my deaths in like the high 30s. If we lose this kill confirmed game, it's all on me. 
because I'm just dropping tags like a Macklemore. Oh yeah, we definitely lost. Oh, I had 37 deaths. I wasn't far off at all. But what's important here is how much camo progress did we get? Oh, we actually got it. I didn't even see it pop up. Let's go. That thing's beautiful. Now let's go ahead and throw that camo here on our vector. Where is it? There it is. That looks so nice. All right, game three on M Bussy. And all we need is double kills for this vector. Just 10 of them. That's one. And that's none. Okay, I gotta remember not to slide with this. I got into the habit of just hitting my crouch button and now it's it's gonna come back to bite me. That's one. Anybody else nearby? No? Cool. I'll go fuck myself then. All right, so from what I've used with the vector so far from leveling it up, this thing takes a decent amount of bolts to kill anybody unless you're right like in their mouth. Pause. So I think I might need to put on a larger mag for this, but I'm going to see what we can do with this game first because I don't know if 30 bolts is going to do it. I got to like get into this building here, not flip their spawn and get two people without getting too far away from them. So this is going to be pretty tricky. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Can I tune mid game? I don't think so, but I think I'm going to remove the rear grip and I'm putting on the 45 round mag. So now we're going to try this out. That's one. I know I just saw somebody go by. Come here. Oh, I missed everything. These double kills are going to be a lot more difficult than I thought. I thought this maybe take like three, four games at max. I have a grand total of zero double kills right now. That was the closest I got right there. And I was getting nothing but hit markers on that guy. I might need to retune my barrel to be more damage centered instead of uh, ADS speed. Oh, here's one. Let's go. That's our first double kill. We got a camo for it, but I'm pretty sure that's something different. There's no way we're already done. All right, let's try uh, doing something crazy, something wild, something way out of the box of, you know, what most COD players think of. I'm going to try to adapt. I'm going to play very slow. N no sprinting, really. And that it's working so far. We just got to kill. Anybody else? Nope. All right. Right here, though. Oh, let's go. And we're dead, but that's all right. We got to a bloodthirsty and we got a double kill right there. This is crazy. The things you can do when you when you try to adapt instead of just running straight forward all the time. I tell myself this, but I'm immediately going to go back to sprinting right at people. Oh, wait, that's a double kill. Maybe I'm being rewarded for being ignorant. But I have the worst COD habits like ever. I COD reload so much. I often sprint and slide and dive for no reason at all. Otherwise, than me just trying to like stimulate my brain when nothing's happening in the game and i make really poor decisions when it comes down to like who to aim at in different situations but we'll learn we'll get better we'll do it together holy aim I, that's another problem i got i can't aim for shit is that a double kill no there's way too much time in between those two that's right here though come back no why would you turn the corner you little shit Oh, fuck that guy. Ooh, that's definitely not a double kill, but I kind of stunned it on him a little bit. Or it felt like it. It probably looks like I did nothing. It's funny, sometimes when I'm playing, I'm like, oh, I just shitted on that guy. And I go back and watch the clip and it looks so standard. Okay, that's the game. We started off real slow, but we at least got three, maybe four double kills that game. That's not awful. Let's check on our progress. All right, we have three out of 10. Not bad. If we can keep that up, we'll get this done in like four games maybe. So we're right on track to where I thought. But I need to retune this barrel. We need uh, some damage range on this bad boy. All right, we got Los Elmas, which is probably my favorite map in this game. Not only like looks wise, but layout wise. I think this is the closest thing we have till uh, Shoot House comes out like tomorrow. So I really like it. It's three lanes, a nice mid area where you can like get long shots, mount up, all that good stuff. And it's not too like crazy big of a map. Uh, you can find people pretty easily. Oh my Lanta. Is that a double? Yes, it is. Let's go. I freaked the hell out when that guy pushed through those doors at me. I, I was panicking. I didn't think I was going to hit any of those shots. Oh, that's one, baby. Let's go. Oh, that's another one, baby. Let's go. That's a double right there, baby. Even a triple? Nope. Can't, can't overextend ourselves here. Doubles or nothing. Oh, let's go, baby. That's another one. We're racking them up this game. That's why I love this map. So many engagements you can get into. Oh, let's go.
let's go. We gotta be so close to getting this thing done. And that's the game. We had 37 kills. So we went from 37 deaths to 37 kills. That's the difference a challenge can make. How many double kills did we get that game though? Let's see. Oh, we just need one more and we're done. Let's go. All right, if I can get this one double kill, I'll go throwing knife only for the rest of this game. Repeak me, you coward. What the fuck are you doing? Did you disappear? Did you vanish? Nope, gotcha. I swear if I get the camo curse this game, I'm gonna be pissed. Because every other time, like, I'm leveling up a weapon or I'm just not really paying attention, just trying to knock some stuff out, I'll get double kills like crazy. When I need just one more, I feel like it's gonna... It takes, like, ten games. This is with, like, every challenge. I get to, like, like one left of the challenge, and it's almost impossible to do. The game knows what it's doing. Oh, never mind. I just talked all that shit, and I got a double kill. And I got Chief Keef with it, too. All right, well... It's time to throwing knife. And I have not hit a single throwing knife yet in this video, so I need to hit a few here. Okay, that guy had something to say about it. Chief Keef was mad. There's one. That was super up close, but we'll take it. Damn, Chief Keef is pissed. Leave me alone. I didn't mean to Chief Keef. I love Sosa. Ooh, there we go. That's another baby. Ooh, that one was kind of lame because I had it out before I threw it. But we still hit it. It was a nice throw, bad execution. Because honestly, when I see a throwing knife clip of somebody just walking around with it out, that does not look as cool as just reacting and tossing it. But speaking of tossing it, we just lost both of ours. And it did not pan out very well for us. Like, I feel like the same thing with somebody just staying scoped in and getting a few kills isn't as cool as somebody like quick scoping for them, you know? Holding out the tomahawk or the throwing knife is like the, the same, the same issue. You look lame as hell walking around holding it up. Ooh. Okay, that one was lame as hell. I was going to throw it up there, but I saw somebody else. Whew. And that's the game. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I at least hit like more than three. Well, let's go ahead and check out our camos. All right. This is what our rainbow tiger looks like in game on the MX-9. This camo is great. I love this thing. It's just so vibrant, so nice, but it, it has a lot of like contrast to it too, leaving a lot of that just normal black in there. And because we only really have two camos to show off this video, I'm going to show it to you guys on a bunch of different weapons. I'm going to do four different ones. So here is it on the MX-9. And here it is on the X-12. This looks great. It's a little more worn on the X-12 than I would like it to be, but it still looks pretty good. It even goes onto the trigger. I think that's a good touch. This is what it looks like on the M4. Definitely way more worn on this than it was on the MX-9, but way more color here. You got to see a lot more stripes on it. It really makes it stand out more. And this is it on the MCPR. This is great. The, I love how it just goes up and down the scope. It's very like compact more towards the middle where like the, the chamber is and where the magazine is. Like the lines are closer together. And this camo is just amazing. I like it a lot. And this is our 2078 camo here on the Fennec. I'm pretty sure it's called the 2078. I don't know. It's just a bunch of numbers, but this thing looks pretty good. It's definitely way more worn than I would like it to be. I wish there was a slider. Because I know people do like to have their camos look more worn. It looks more realistic to them. To me, I want it all flawless. I feel like the scratches kind of take away from the color. But this looks like he dropped a box of highlighters on a gun. And it, it kind of works. And this is what it looks like on the X-12. Very nice. It has a whole lot more of that uh, that highlighter yellow on there. But the slide of the, of the X-12 looks pretty good with it. This is what it looks like on the M4. I think I like the M4 one the most so far. There's so much ground to cover on this gun and it doesn't miss really any spaces. It looks pretty nice. And this is it on the MCPR. I feel like this one is the most vibrant of them all. The, the orange right there at the front of the scope really makes it stand out. And then when you inspect it, you see a lot more of that color. I, I'm actually stuck between this one and the M4 for which one I like the most. I feel like this one has a little less wear than what the M4 and what the Vector have. But that's all the camos I got for you guys today. Uh, there is still a few more that I want to check out while we're going for polyatomic here. But, but after that, I think it's just a bunch of random, like normal looking camos. But in doing this, I have like a lot of my weapons leveled up. I think almost all my secondaries are completely leveled up besides like one pistol. Uh, I haven't really touched marksman rifles at all, but snipers are fully leveled. I've leveled up a few LMGs. We're getting close to like polyatomic. I just need to actually go through and do the gold camo challenges instead of all these like random ones. But with that, I'm going to end the video here. So go ahead and like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, sub if you want to, you know, all the good YouTube stuff. Uh, if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, you can go ahead and follow my Instagram, Twitter, or join my Discord. Links to those are all down in the description below, as well as a link to my TikTok if you want to join there. Uh, I've been posting there a little more recently, but that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.